Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to episode 18 of our Maratha campaign in Empire Total War. So last time we completed off and finished all the Mughals and now we're looking at Persia to be our next target. Um, one thing to notice though is just that uh, there's really nothing I can really do at this exact moment about Persia. They're just, you know, they're just kind of the way they are. There's nothing I can do about them. Um, just because we have rebel, we'll have rebel problems here. I'd rather just go ahead and let our economy just kind of get back to work and let our people, I guess, get much, uh, you know, more uh, prevalent everywhere. Let me see about this one. Yeah, there's a little bit of a problem there. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and end the turn, and let's hope that we can get our religion set more into, uh, you know, the old Mughal territories and all that as well. And once I knock out Persia, I'll be like on the doorstep of the Ottomans and the Russians, and uh, I can head uh, to the New World and go conquer some islands. Military alliance with the Ottomans, uh, you're at war with who? Persia, but no, I don't, I don't want you to think. I'd rather them like get knocked out by Russia a little bit. Russia and I have the potential to be really good friends. If I can connect to them territorially and the Ottomans connect to them via territory, then my uh, trade routes will just go along that. I'm lucky Persia might go take like Baghdad or something. That'd be nice to have. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either. Steady hand, and he's a doctorate. I mean, which means wherever he goes, he's going to be good. Um, let's go ahead and go put him in the traditional university. I mean, it doesn't really matter where I send him at this point. They're all working on different stuff. It's all kind of, I guess, crucial. I mean, he'll just be working on... Uh, this is... No, that's Benares. Benares is working on uh, military. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I mean, all this doesn't really matter if we get it closer or not. Technological advancements. Yeah, we finished cadence marching, and now we've got new model bayonets. Finished selective breeding, now we got advanced irrigation. Punjab has a riot. What'd they riot up on? Oh, the pleasure gardens. That's never a good thing to riot on. Um, Army's almost fixed up there. see about this one are they getting fixed up no not anymore let's fix them up um I could probably afford all three armies to be at 20 units now let's see anything not really you can move your thuggy by right clicking I don't really care about what I can do with them um Infrastructure wise, yeah, there's really nothing that can be done there. I mean, I'm just. There's nothing that can happen now. Ashrams, yeah. Alright. It's in the turn. Spent about 1300 in the. Uh, in between turns. We may have uh, worked a few things up a little bit higher, but that's about it. One thing I probably need to do is start focusing on getting my uh, plantations done so that whenever we get a uh, elimination of slavery that we'll, uh, we won't be in any kind of trouble with that as far as it costing us much more. Not to mention I could then shoot more production out as well. You know, produce more uh, products and then sell more of them. Because I don't plan on destroying most the of the, the world here. Strength over time, the more they're left unchecked. 
always act quickly in these instances, otherwise the uprising may capture a region. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of this rebellion. Alright, 1350 versus 480. Let's go ahead and attack. Maybe I can find a good location to attack from. Setting up my guns just right. Alright, this, this, this. Perfect, right there. Um, let's take these guns, put them right here. These guys here. Those guys right there. In deployment. I want to go ahead and get these guys moving as fast as I can get them. If I can get them right there to that line. those guys here. We'll fast forward a little bit. I don't want to waste all this time. I've got an empire to run. Yep, these guys are going to be just safe. Go ahead and set up shop. Oh, they ran into this over here. Horseman. Landless rabble. No big deal. Go ahead and finish off some of these guys. They've got Sikh warriors. They did hit my general by the looks of it, but that's okay. Hurry up and get him gone. There we go. Warm up. Might be able to get a shot for even comes in and charges into us. Yeah, there we go. We got a little bit of one. Let's see. I want these guys. Right about there. I want these two to go there. That'll do just fine. Yeah, you're going to end up hurting yourself there, Lancers. Oh, we've hit him plenty of times, though. There you go. Shattered him right in the first uh, wave of shots. And the other guy ran off to heroic victory. We'll take that. We lost 61 to kill 359. And that's all we needed. them up. Oh, public servant died. Yep, there's that rebellion that's already been taken care of. And I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I could actually take that off. Okay, I think we're fine. Now then, I'm going to go look for these trade facilities like this one. A tea warehouse. Cost me thirty eight twenty five, so it's expensive. You know, a spice warehouse. Yeah, thirty eight twenty five again. But it's worth it to do them.
It's like I didn't make, you know, have one of the best trade, of, you know, surpluses and all that with all these other nations. No, Ottomans, we're just not going to work with you. Don't get me wrong, I like you. I don't want to work with you. There they all are. I mean, the Persians are trying. I don't want to, I really don't want to attack them when they're trying to take that spot from them. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Yep, advanced irrigation was brought forth. Um, a large tea plantation. Large tea plantation. tea plantations. Is there anything else I can build with that? Maybe not something that's tea related? Sugar. Okay. That's just what I'm going to end up doing. It takes how many turns for the it'll take four for that one, then we'll be doing well. It takes three for this one. So I could just go on a region by region basis, knocking out everything that needs to be done. Okay. Wow, okay. Let's see what those Persian armies decide to do. He's walking across Turkey. He's going to Baghdad. He's going to siege it, and I think he took it. Yep, he took it. So a few turns, you know, letting him have that to build it up with the money that he has is perfectly fine and maybe I can sweep across and get that for myself there is unused land suitable for farming in this region building farms here will help let's see did that hurt me any by getting that done yeah see they're going ahead and turn off yeah, they're turning off my money making in some areas because of that people live here uh da, 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 like this is saying like two million in that whole area how much is that gonna increase point three to point four I don't know about that a spice warehouse. Yeah, let me develop this one. Okay, um... Then I'll go ahead and do this one too. 2175. Then after that, I'll go ahead and do rice farming here here and that'll be just fine kind of just working the coast I guess working here and then these three and then anything else I have can go in further that's probably the best move I can do
Surprised the Austrians are still on the map. Because the Poles, I mean, same with the Prussians, honestly, because, I mean, the Poles have replaced Russia for the most part. Okay, looks good here. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's... Bavaria has arisen. The only one I'm not working with is Austria and Sweden. And that's on their sides. That's not mine. Uh, let's try with Venice. Let's just see. Nope, okay. Italian states. Okay, I'll pay you a little bit for that. I need to... Uh... Nope, you won't do it. Barbaries, I don't know how long you'll be around, but okay, yeah, you're not going to want to do it anyway. Um, Let's come down here. None of my trade. Down here. None of my trade. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Right here. Rice farm. Rice farm. Okay. That one's all done. Let's look at this one. Farrar is done. There. There. Come in. I'm not working on actual buildings. I'm just working on plantations and food production. Still got some of these things turned off. I got my capital turned off. I mean, I could go Indian Republic. It really probably wouldn't hurt to do that. Oh, this place popped up. I need to do that too. Yeah, next turn I need to go put in the trading port there. Yeah, I might as well let the rebellion go and then just take my city back. I wouldn't mind an in you know an actual republic of India. That'd be kind of cool. Or it might be like the Marathan Republic. I don't know what it would be called. We'll find out, though, if it actually goes through. We always have better luck as republics anyway. Bavaria is out there now. It's cool seeing some There's of these little bitty land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international trade. Thank you. Okay, um Yeah. All right. Yeah, new national leader. Construction report. Those places are getting done. Bijapur is on strike. That's fine. Um, trading port there will take two turns. Let's see. This will cost me 38.25. So that would get me that location done. All of this appears to be done. All of this appears to be done. Up through here appears to be done. Well, this one, yeah, it hasn't even really gotten close to completion. This is now... Oh, I can't afford a T, the, the right thing there. That's okay. Let's come down here. These things are going. Same with that. Can't afford the next level. Um... This is the next one. Small cotton plantation. Let's 
great estate. I don't think there's anything else I could build. That's what I got. Yeah, there's not. It's in the turn. Let's see. Uh, again, this is all... I know it's kind of boring for these episodes, but... It's just where we're preparing ourselves... You know, I want to go Republic of India, so it takes at least three turns. They have, they have to go on strike, or they have to protest, and they have to go like on strike, and then they go into rebellion. So you get about three turns, generally. Uh, when you take over a town in between turns, though, you only get two. Which is kind of weird, because I didn't, you know, it's not my choice to do that. But I think it takes that modifier in just at the start of your turn. So it thinks, okay, you've already had the chance to do something about it. Now here you go. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. My sores on Select strike. Select type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. New town. There. Um. Small ashram. Hang it. It put it right back on. Here, yeah, okay. I don't want them to go down here and rebel, though. I mean, that's the exact opposite of what we want to have happen. Um, but all right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Um, we come back, we'll continue more of what we've been doing. Basically getting these, uh, you know, getting our provinces more and more and more profitable. As you can see, we're, at, we're pushing 9,000 right now. The higher we go, the better. We need more population, too, so I'll be working on that stuff. Um, and we'll just slowly, you know, expand and make everything better. That, that's really the only thing we can do. So, all right, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.